Dell just announced two new laptops to their XPS lineup, the XPS 14 and 16. Now the design language of these two products were derived from the XPS 13 plus from the past. This has now been renamed or rebranded to the XPS 13. Uh, but the two new ones are the XPS 14 and 16. So these are the two devices here. The one on the top is in the platinum silver color and underneath is the graphite color. So the 14 inch is the smaller one. Now, when they first showed this, I thought, what is the point of having a 14 inch device over the 13 inch device, right? I mean, they're so similar in size, but it stems to just one main thing, performance. So on the XPS 13 product, you were never able to configure this with a discrete GPU. If you wanted something from Nvidia for something that's more graphically capable, was not possible because you just, this is such a small and tiny form factor, can't do it. But they've been able to do it into the 14 inch. Now on this device, you can get up to an RTX 4050, but look at the magic of this. Look at that thing. This is a beautiful looking interior. So like the previous devices, there's no physical touchpad or visibly physical touchpad. It's all built into this glass bottom panel here. Uh, you can just see real quickly, you have a completely normal trackpad experience, but all of that clicking is a haptic feedback. It's not like a physical thing that moves up and down. And you also have this lattice keyboard that is very clean looking. I still think this is one of the nicest looking interior designs to a laptop. And also you have that top row for your function keys and media control keys. And because there's a little more room on the 14 inch device, you now have front facing speakers that are visible. So on the XPS 13 product, I'm just gonna place it right on top here. There were no speakers that you could see. They were underneath the keyboard. So the audio quality wasn't as good. On the 14 inch, they actually sound a little bit better. Now, because this is a pre-production unit, I can't kind of demo it properly, at least not with the confidence that I would like, but just from my ears, these do sound noticeably better than the 13 inch. Uh, now, in terms of the actual performance, this is running a Meteor Lake chip, Intel's newest and most energy efficient chip, and you also get slightly increased wattage on this larger device compared to the 13 inch, but also new for this year is an upgraded webcam. So if you've seen my previous video on the XPS 13 plus, you did not have great webcam quality because of the super thin bezel. It's now improved to a 1080p resolution with noticeably better image quality. Also, the bezels on the screen are still super thin, just like the whole XPS family, but look at that, man. That is a super, super clean 14 inch display. Now the typing experience is largely the same compared to the previous generation of this lattice keyboard, but one thing I noticed just as I was shooting it, the XPS 13, uh, the 13 plus that I have here from the previous gen, it actually has a larger width of keyboard than the 14. Even though this is a 13 inch device that's technically smaller, this keyboard is a little bit wider than the 14. It's only because of these edge keys, like on the 13 inch, because there was no speakers on the side, they could just extend these edge keys all the way to, right to the trim. But here, because of the speakers, they've had to kind of keep them constrained. So if you actually compare them, the 13 inch actually has a slightly larger keyboard or wider keyboard than the 14. So typing on these super clean keyboards is pretty fast to get used to, but I don't think my top speed is as fast on this type of keyboard as like a traditional laptop keyboard. So this device here, the XPS 16, is my favorite of the bunch, primarily because it has the most power. This goes up to an RTX 4070 equipped configuration. And again, super clean keyboard, super clean trackpad, with the super clean light up function keys up top. Uh, I think this is just like, it's such a nice looking device. Plus the color, it's like this like dark gray. I've always liked this graphite color they had on the XPS products. The 16 inch obviously has its larger screen and also maintains the very high image quality that you'd expect from an XPS product. But you also get higher wattage components in this larger chassis because there's a little more space in there, more powerful cooling. You can pump up the wattage on the CPU and GPU. Now keep in mind that all of this hardware is pre-production. So some of those internal components may change on the final units. Uh, but one other thing, the keyboards here, there's this like button here that looks a little bit different. And this is to launch Microsoft's Copilot. Right now, this is just a sticker, so it looks a little bit strange, but eventually, in the future, the production versions of this will have an actual Copilot logo on that key. Right now, this is just the control key with a sticker on top. Uh, so real quickly, I just wanna show the ports on it. So on the 14 and 16, they share basically the same ports. On the right, we have a micro SD, a headphone jack, and a USB-C, and then on the left side, we have a pair 
a few species. Now in terms of the power supply for both of these, there's 130 watt for the 16 inch and then 100 watt for the 14 inch. But yeah, that's just an early look at the new XPS 14 and 16. I think these are very nice looking devices with seemingly very solid performance with the new Meteor Lake hardware inside. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video.